everybody welcome back to my channel so I am here to do a quick video for my monthly um, calendar that I did not do and there's a few reasons why I have not done it and most of y'all know we're all in the same situation so that's mainly one of the reasons why I have not done it excuse the noise you hear in the background that is my cricket machine I am learning to make stickers so it's going about its business right about now doing its thing so I was on Etsy earlier and I bought a calendar kit for my Cricut machine for my planner and this is not the right type of sticker paper this is just a relabel paper so this is just really testing it out to see if I like it and whatnot and to give me some ideas about what I could possibly do so I bought the kit um, from um, let me see what the name of the studio was called it's called design uh, design lovely studio and her particular files you can actually uh, cut on the Cricut machine and the cut lines are pretty good I don't have to do anything below the end and, and hit print and cut so this is the kit I will be using it's called the happy birthday kit and the reason why I chose this is because the month is still April and you know you all know my birthday is in April so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to choose this kit and so this is probably will be the monthly kit that I will do um, every year for um, my um, my birthday and it looks like I she has a coordinating um, note section as well for each of her kits I have not purchased that particular kit yet but I may go back and do it we will see I don't know but let's get started I've never used one of these before so I have to figure out how to apply them and you probably will be able to see through it because this is just plain really thin label paper is not true sticker paper so because of that I will take my trusty do that and wipe all of this out before we get started and it didn't take long for these to print it cost about two dollars um, and some change for them so I'm a little thrown off by this uh, Cricut machine I just got it so I'm like playing around with it and whatnot and like literally doing something right I am gonna have to you know go back to the drawing board and figure some stuff out and just go from there I'm gonna leave this part I'm not gonna waste whiten it out you'll probably be able to see through it <laughs> I'm okay with that and the reason why I'm doing it is because I want to test it out and I figure I would test it out on April since April is pretty much almost over with Okay. I'm trying to get it because it's going over the paper a little bit. And so that's what I'm noticing. But it's made for the Erin Condren. So maybe I just need to pull it down just a little bit. I try to get it right on the edge. Let's see. If I can line it up properly. Okay. No. So let's start from this end to make sure it goes all the way down. That'll make more sense. Yeah. I'm so irritated with this Cricut machine. Because <laughs> everyone on YouTube make it look so easy and it's not easy at all. And only a lot of people only sell the silhouette files. Well, I don't have I have a little bit hanging over as you can see right there but I'm okay with that I don't have a silhouette so I don't plan on getting one to my craft rooms done i.e. 
my film room, my um, other room that I do all my stuff in. Because I'm going to be getting my basement redone. I don't know when, where, how, but I'm going to make it happen. That's my project over the next few years. I'm cutting down a little bit of my traveling. Because I do need about $20,000 or so for my basement. And so that means I need to sacrifice just a little bit. So that's it so far. And yeah, I didn't pull these off properly. Because you see they're curled, but it's also because of the paper. And this is an all month type of calendar. So, you can get to choose which month you want it for. I'm choosing April 2020. And so, what I know what I'm going to have to do is make um, 2021 labels stickers for next year. So, that's that so far. And then, she has all of the date covers. So, let me get my toolkit. My room is not that big, y'all. I have a ranch house. And, um, when I say it's not that big, it's not that big. And I have this cricket machine right here. I have my desk in here. It's just no space. But I have it on a cart to, to make it more accessible for myself. Meaning I have the cricket machine on a cart. So I'm hoping y'all can hear me. Because the machine is really loud. And my tools that I use, the links are below. So my normal tools. So I'm just going to, I'm going to take one. And just start seeing how it is. And see if I need to white out the, um... Which I'm call it tonight. But is the purple dark enough? So far I think it's dark enough. So I'm going to just go through this very quickly. And add these on. And I'm going to speed through this section so you guys aren't sitting here. I'm finished putting all the dates. I think it looks really cute. And I'm so glad I found this. Because if you remember in my last monthly. I was like I wanted to find where they had these at. Because I wanted to do that for my planner. So I'm so glad that I actually found it. I need to white out the dates from March on here. I'm probably going to put a little sticker right there. So I need to white those out. And on this side I need to white out. The first and the second. Okay. So now. Let's open it back up. And let's see. Okay. So I have the rest of these. I won't be using these at all. So I'll save these for. In my file for to use again. And then I have. These. That go in the boxes. And then I have these as well. And I don't know where to put these, but I have them. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the happy birthday one. And I know it's the 12. So let me pull the 12 back up. Uh oh. Let's see if I can use this one. Not having much luck. 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So I pull the 12 back up and put that to the side. And then I'm going to put down. It's just so happy my birthday fell on Easter this year. So I'm going to put happy birthday down right there. And then I'm going to put the 12 back. And these tweezers, literally, I just got these from TJ Maxx. Y'all, and I don't know what to do with myself because TJ Maxx is not open. I go there once every two weeks, literally, and shop every payday I go. And I don't know what to do with myself. So, normally in the planner, I use the Oso paper on paydays. But because I have printed this kit, I'm just going to use these for now. For paydays so I'm gonna put the flag over here they only gave me two so maybe I'll just do this the flags over here because in April I do have three paydays y'all would think by now I know which way to do this camera and then oh no they gave me four paydays so I can go back up and do it so I'll put a payday right here and you all know, I really don't use flags, but we're going to use them today. Okay. So those are my paydays. I got my paydays in there. Y'all, this cricket is so loud. So I'm not sure what else I want to put. And I do know... I'm going to put a bill due on the 16th because every 16th is my Amex. I'm just going to put it right above there. I didn't really want to cover up Passover ends. And I have these. And I'm just going to take them and like decorate some more boxes with them. And I did get a birthday cake, but I don't want to put it right next to the other box. So I'll put it on the 14th. Maybe I should have put these down before I put, actually put the numbers down. But I didn't know what I was going to do, so. Um, let's take a few more of these and just put them sporadically around here. I'm going to put it down here. This is an empty box. So I don't have to worry about removing anything. And I'll put this one up at the top. Sporadically in this box. Oh, yeah. Let me fix it. And this is just plain Avery paper. Because I don't have the sticker paper yet. But I wanted to test the Cricut machine out to see what it could do and play around with it over the weekend because like I said my dad paid for half of this one and then I bought myself the Joy so okay it's not even again maybe it's my eyes I got my glasses on I don't know what it is. We're just going to put it down in the middle. And at this point, it's going to fall wherever it falls. Okay. And then, let's take the cupcakes. Let me hit log out. And put the cupcakes over here. Probably on the 11th. The day before my birthday. Let's lay that one right here. And then let's put the 11th back down. And I did an unboxing. It's not that interesting for my Cricut Maker. You know, it's not that interesting. But I'm going to post that soon too. But I did do one. Um, I wish it was a this month in here so i do have all of these which is really cute i have this for the notes area 
I'm not gonna cover it up because it's already purple. Ankles in the way. So the, uh, what I will do is just take the birthday sticker and just put it right there in the middle of that. And I'm trying to see what else I have I could use for presents. Let's open it up and see. Maybe I will add. No. Mm -mm, I would put it right there to give it like the. But I don't know. I'll put it on the 27th. Actually, no, I won't. Let me put on a date that has already gone past. Today is April 18th. So, you all know I'm doing this really late in the month. Um, it's just going to be all together since it was my birthday week. Pull the 17th up. Let's put down the present. There's a lot of noise in my house right now. I need a new washer and dryer. I know I told you all that too. <sighs> but I don't want to get a new washer and dryer until I get the basement done. Because I don't know how my laundry area is going to look yet. And I have these headers that I'm not going to use. I probably take all of the rest of this and put it in my sticker book. Um, and I don't have my phone to text my offspring. So let me see what I can do. Okay, so I'm gonna get my sticker book in a second. Hopefully. And ooh, the phone's about to fall. So I have this. This is like washi, I would think. But I have no place to put it unless I had put it across the whole bottom. And I'm not going to do that. So, I'm going to take one of these headers over here. And I'm going to put to buy. Because I need a header over here. I'm going to put to buy right here. And of course I put Cricut link. So let me see if I can pull it off. and it rolls so this is not good sticker paper but like i said i was just playing around with it to see what i could and couldn't do with the machine and it's printing some stuff right now so clip art that i have and i wanted to make them into stickers i need to learn a better technique because it's only at 46 percent y'all and only 20 stickers on there, so that's not going to work for me. So I have the to buy, and then I'm not going to probably use anything on this one. You know, other than I'll use these two planners, because I do need to do a plan with me tomorrow. So I'll put the plan on the 26th. at the bottom here and then I'll put the yellow one for tomorrow with the little camera icon that I have to record and that's it really the rest of these are so cute but I don't have anything really to use it for um, I'm going to take this this month, even though it's in purple, and you really can't see it that much, but I'm going to take the this month and flip this right here. Okay, and then I'm going to break it up with a... to organize I need 
to get the notes one. And I hate that. Um, I need the actual template so I can see how to do it. So I can add my own. Because I don't want to keep buying them. I like to make my own stuff. That's just me personally. Um, like, for example, I make my own cash envelopes. I do my own, um, a lot of my own stuff. But I am very glad that she has these for us to use. Um, and she creates these. And I think it's gorgeous and whatnot. So I probably will buy the corresponding um, note set. Probably not for um, the birthday. But I will buy um, like a generic notes one. So, okay. So, and the notes page literally is this this page right here i want to say or no let me see where the notes page actually will be maybe this is the notes page back here in the back i mean that would be cute for that i need to see what else is included she only charges two dollars and twenty cents for the files so that's something to think about. Yeah, that's really something to think about if I'm gonna buy the not. I do think it's cute. So I think that's it for my April 2020. Um, I do have one for May that I'm going to use. And the rest of this I would just put inside of my sticker book that I have so I can keep them actually let me take this off because tomorrow's the 19th uh oh and put um, nails I want to do my nails tomorrow and then let's do gas put this gas one on the 17th, you know, you can't see it, but I got gas, so I'll just put that right there, and then laundry will get put on the 18th, and laundry will get put on the 25th. And we won't be traveling. This is for cleaning. So we're actually going to do that on Tuesday. I'm taking the day off of work. Okay. So that's it with my monthly planner um, layout for the monthly part of it. This is for April 2020. Today is the 18th. So I'm doing this really late in the month. But I just got my Cricut. And I found these on Etsy from Design Lovely Studio. And I was able to print these with no problem on my Cricut. So because of that, I wanted to go ahead and, and actually print them out and use them. I probably need to cover this up at the bottom. But I'm not going to okay so thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and if you have a cricket and you're doing your own stickers let me know how you guys do them because i gotta figure out how to add the white background to some of them so they cut faster all right thanks have a good one bye bye